Good morning everyone, hope everyone's keeping well and safe. It's Mark here again now doing a couple more science experiments. Um, this week we're going to look at sound and we're going to do two projects. The first project is we're going to make a harmonica and I apologise to the parents in advance for this. It is quite noisy and quite annoying. And the second one we're going to look at is we're going to look at trying to make a speaker for our smartphone. So let's get cracking and we start off. Okay, so for this experiment, what we'll need is we need um, two lollipop sticks. We'll need um, a couple of matchsticks. We need um, some rubber bands, a piece of paper, a pencil or a pen, and a scissors. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to draw out our lollipop stick on the paper. So we're just going to trace the outline of the stick around we want a paper the same size as the lollipop stick. Next what we're going to do is we're going to cut the paper out. I have one already done so we're going to use that I said save time. So once we have that we're going to place the paper on the first lollipop stick like so and then we're going to take the second lollipop stick and we are going to sandwich it in so we want to make sure that the paper is flat in between and the reason we're doing this is sound is created um, by vibrating objects that disturb the air around them so in air harmonica it's the piece of paper that's going to vibrate and it's going to disturb the air around us so what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of our elastic bands and along one of the ends we're just going to keep wrapping it around nice and tight so that it keeps the lollipop sticks together and keeps the paper sandwiched in between Okay, so something like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our toothpick and we're going to just slide it in one side of the paper, making sure that we don't damage the paper and keep it flat. Okay, as far down as go without breaking, like so. Once that's done, we're going to get our second elastic band and wrap that round. So, and then we will try and slide our second toothpick in along without trying to damage the paper too much. And lastly, what we'll do is we're going to cut the ends of the toothpick so that we can actually put our mouth close to our harmonica. You might need mum and dad to give you a hand with this because it is quite tricky. Be careful not to cut the elastic band. And there we have our homemade harmonica. Okay, so let's see what it sounds like. So you can get different sounds by actually pinching down with your teeth and pinching down with your fingers all along because what happens is that it increases the vibration of the paper within the harmonica to give the higher pitches and stuff like that. So you can suck and you can blow while doing the um, the harmonica to create different sounds. And try different um, try different lengths as well of uh, if you can get other sticks, try different lengths and that might work as well. Um, and have a bit of fun and annoy your mum and dad. Okay, let's get on to the next experiment. So the next experiment we're going to do now is we're going to create speakers for an iPhone or an iPod and we're going to use just some household recycled items. So that's why the two um, experiments this week are very good because it's all recyclable items and stuff that we can use uh, once we're finished with them. So what we need for this is we need two uh, paper cups, plastic cups are fine as well, um, just reusable ones. Um, the kitchen paper, I wrote uh, in our tube. I like this because it's a little bit longer, so the sound gets a bit uh, further. But we can also use uh, the smaller tubes, and you can experiment with them. We need a pen, and we need uh, scissors, and we need your phone as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we want to take the pen out, and we want to mark out roughly in the middle the length of your phone, like so. 
All right, so all this is a simple line, and then what we want to do is cut some slits out like that. So we want to cut slits so that we can actually insert the phone in. So the best way to do is to do a pinch. You might need mum and dad to give you hands. Be careful, and then just cut it along. You might need to go a little bit further than the phone just so that you're giving yourself a bit of extra room. What we can do is once that's cut, we push that down and we check if the phone fits. The phone should fit in. Alright, so even at this stage, we should have a difference in the music quality. So let me just get something up. Let's see, can we add some more speakers to it now? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our cup and what we're going to do is we're going to draw the template around this. So draw your circle. Now you will need to create a bigger circle. This is just a rough idea and you would have to test it bit by bit to fix it in. Um, so we draw the circle all the way around, like so. And we cut a hole out, you might have to go bigger as I said before. I've got two pre-cut already. So what we do then is we slide them in like so to create two speakers. Alright, and let's see what difference we have. Now there's plenty more designs that we can do. I have seen some um, that uh, create, um, what you call it, using the box effect and more of these, you can actually create longer ones. And I'm gonna show you a little diagram now just to explain the science behind all of this. Okay, so I hope you can see this properly. So what we have is we have our iPhone here, like so. And when we are playing the iPhone through the speakers built in, the sound is just dispersed, dispersed like so. So it, it's spread out, so it's not as focused, so that's why it's not as loud as when we do it in the speaker. So by adding our tubing and our two cups, we are getting a more focused sound wave being emitted from the phone and it comes through the cylindrical cups and spreads out to a louder, a louder volume. Some of the other designs that I've seen have been um, where they've used an actual square box, like so, and they've put four cups, or how many ever you can fit in, into each side the whole way round so that you have that and then what you have is you do a slit like we did before above and you place your phone in and it emits through the whole um, all the all the speakers within the phone in the box the other one that I've seen it's harder to draw but what it is is you have a smaller um, a smaller box built here with your phone sitting in it you have two cardboard tubes coming out like so into a bigger box and the bigger box is spread out more and it, it acts like a, me a larger megaphone as well there's loads of different designs online to actually go and play around with and um, so if you want to try them out experiment with different um different household items recyclable stuff trying to create different speakers and stuff like that see what you can get as the loudest and stuff like that we will be coming back to you next tuesday i have a couple of uh, experiments that i want to try out Um, one of them i'm hoping to try and do is to make some sweets and um, it will take a week to do but it's a good a good experiment but we will I'll start it now and i'll show you next week how it works okay and until then stay safe and i'll see you next week take care